Okay, emergency review. I'm sorry, I've been doing a lot of videos. Okay, I promise next week I'll probably skip three whole days to not flood this channel. <coughs> okay, so. <laughs> 3.5 hours ago, I saw this. I immediately bought it. It just hit the cool. It just hit the cool laws. Okay, this is the first video review for Sapporo Black, premium black in the world. Okay, I know there's one in Japan. What is it? Yabisu. It's been around a long time, but apparently this is a brand new thing. Very similar to that, but this one is 152 calories. <laughs> It's 5.2% alcohol, um, <laughs> 22 ounces, imported by Sapporo Brewing Company, La Crosse, Wisconsin, brewed and canned by Sapporo Brewing of Guelph, Ontario. I believe that's Sleeman. Sapporo owns Sleeman, and Sapporo is owned by, and Sapporo is owned by Mitsubishi, and Sapporo owns the Unibrew. Okay. Now, if you look on their website, they've got Sapporo. Sapporo uh, Reserve, which is the all malt. They've got Sapporo Light. We're talking about for the American market. Okay, I'm trying not to spill. And there's the Sapporo uh, um, Premium Black now. Okay, so here we go. I had to get in it. You know, I couldn't do it immediately. I had to get it cold. And um, I had to go take a little nap. I, after I bought this beer, I went to uh, eat at... Um, at um, El Paso Mexican restaurant. It was like standard food, but um, adjust this a little bit. It was good. Yeah, I know you, we will detect my video being shaky. Okay, I'm sorry. The production values with this channel aren't particularly ideal. All right, um, bone colored head, even beige, creamy. Um, mm, it's not a black beer, it's like red, ruby red with the sun shining from outside. I was gonna go outside, but it's just too. Hot. I was walking half a mile. I went walk half a mile. It's brown or ruby with the light shining through it. Um, so I was at Hong Kong Market on Berman Highway in Terrytown, Louisiana. And there, the guy told me a year ago when I was there, he said, we about to kick up our, our selection, believe me. And I went in there and I was like outdone by their selection. It's a lot of imports, but it's like an incredible amount of imports and beautiful craft beers. I was just like, meh. my cabinets are so full already. If you came over here, you would be like, man, you need to get some, like, I'm going to go talk to somebody. I am going to talk to somebody. Another beer outlet. Okay, so above me is getting kind of crazy, but uh, look at that Sapporo glass. I don't even remember where I got this glass. I believe it was a gift. Okay. I've had all the ones I named, plus I had the Sapporo Stone Warrior that was sent to me by Ken. Oh, yeah. Try to find that one. Made in Lacrosse, Wisconsin. All right, it smells good, man. It's roasted. They said roasted malts and like really nice hops. They don't give the ingredients, okay? They give the calories and 5.2. Earlier this month on Maxim Online, I saw there was an article saying this beer was coming. I didn't know anything about it. Apparently, it just hit literally maybe today. I could see that they had opened the boxes, so I pulled one out the box. They had some in the coolers also. It smells rich and roasted, and oh man, it is a beautiful smelling thing. They said it should pair well with hearty food, like it would have gone well with that Mexican food or like Cajun food, they said. Some cream, roasted malts. Mmm, yeah. I already have another video I had recorded waiting to be posted so ooh, ooh. Toot, toot. get on a Sapporo train roasted malt not burnt roasted creamy chocolate nutshell coffee now I was just talking to Albino Rhino uh, Chad and he was saying oh you got the Golden Grail and I was like Golden Grail huh he said that one from Japan everybody says it's the best one but we can't get it I said I think this is a little different but I'm thinking it must not be that different but um, it's not the Yabisu okay and I was just in that store and they had the Kirin uh, 
was a Coronami, Karen Coronami, the, the brown beer there, the black beer. I didn't buy any, but they had it. Oh, I mean, I'm telling you right now, that place was beyond, well, it wasn't really beyond belief. People say that, I'll say that. But it was beyond what I expected. It was just like, whoa! And then I was looking at their cognacs, and their, their brandy selection was... Well, it was interesting because they had all this craft work brandy from Louisville, Kentucky that's aged in beer barrels. I like doing it backwards that John Sharon was telling me about from Zone 1 for $54 a bottle. And then I was looking at their cognac behind the, behind the counter because they're not putting it out because people will steal it. I was like, whoa, and they had some locked up in cabinets. I was like, look at this. I've never seen such an extensive array of cognac. And somebody was telling me that's a big time Asian thing. East Asia, like Chinese, Japanese, but they love cognac. I was like, I believe it. Because, um, and they had bottles that were $2,900 for a 750 milliliter. I was like, ooh. But then they had some kind of things that were more, that I could, that was still like 139, 110, just like, it just was, it kept going. And I don't mean just brandy and kind of, their hard liquor selection was just like, this huge place and all their fresh fish and everything it's just nice and this beer is nice the body here is high medium it's not heavy but I think maybe they did wait till today the first day of fall although <laughs> if you come here you say it's in the middle of summer it is so hot Huh, 93 degrees, 94. With high humidity. Crisp finish. Not like middle light crisp, but you know what I mean. Crisp as it's going to be as a Schwartz beer. Um, mighty fine. $3.49 plus tax. Well, that's what you're going to pay. You can get the regular Sapporo, which is a nice beer too, and that's $2.99 for these big indestructible cans. If you hit somebody in the head with them, you, with it, you might really kill the person. Oh, well, I mean, if this is not an A beer, they don't make A beers, I'm telling you. You say, well, it's a macro company, so how could it be an A? How could it be most excellent? Well, I mean, drink it. You're going to see how. It's just dynamite. It's a dynamite beer. Honestly, if this beer has something wrong with it, I would love to know what it is. Now you might say, well, you bragged on Sapporo Light. You bragged on the Stone Warrior. You bragged on the regular Sapporo. You bragged on the, um, the Reserve. You just, you just love Sapporo, don't you? Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's pretty much the case that they gave me. Sapporo was the case that they gave me. Although, they didn't give it to me. I bought it. And somebody gave me that glass. And I don't know who gave me that glass. So, les les Oh, les les bon temps A wonderful beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans.